water meter. Okay, so we're back at the little project lawn here. Uh, it's my father-in-law's lawn, actually. And uh, he is busy complaining that he doesn't like it, that it's getting too long too quickly. And we only had one week in. So we're going to check the grass today to see if it's rooting properly and if we can trim it. So as you can see, this whole side, there's quite a lot of long grass growing taller. And down there as well, it's, it's growing taller. I don't know if you can see it. There's patches that are tall and there's patches that are not tall. And out here in front, the same kind of thing as well. Um, and what I'm concerned about is when you let grass, Kakuyu, Bermuda and Alem grass, uh, when you let them grow taller, you generally find there's more discoloration that happens towards the uh, ground level. And we want to try and avoid that. We want to get this thing set up nice and tightly. And so for that, we might you might want to do a trim but generally my recommendation is to leave this alone for two weeks with that initial fertilizer application and all that you do here is walk on it and water it that's all you do for two weeks in my opinion okay, so it does appear that the taller grass sections they seem to be feeling nice and solid even beneath your foot anyway so it might be okay to give it a very high mow so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pull on the grass and just yeah, it's 100% rooting in some places. Like there it's not rooting, but here it's rooting. So right here against the edges, it's, it's not in yet. It might be because some of these sods, I oh know that's fine. That's not fine. I guess it's a, it's touch and go, which means that my statement of two weeks is, is right. Uh, I'm gonna mow the lawn to keep the old man happy, <laughs> but I do think for the majority of you guys, just keep trampling on it, keep watering it, let that root settle first, and then we're going to mow it. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we just finished mowing level is perfectly fine uh, we cut it actually above the highest setting that the mower is designed to do um, and i think it's sitting between 40 and 60 mils depending on where you are and all the lumps and bumps and that kind of thing but i just want to show you a little bit further away and you can see at a distance it actually looks perfectly fine then when you get closer you can tell which of the sods are a little bit out of the ordinary so these are nice and green and I thought that these were a problem. Now that we've mowed them, I see they're actually not a problem at all. This whole inside part here is growing perfectly fine. It's just that they may have been slightly older sod. So these abnormal sods are things that you should watch out for when they've got a little bit extra thatch underneath that grass area. That is a bit of a problem. Keep fertilizing, keep watering. You're just gonna have to keep bringing the mower back here to try and vacuum some of that dead grass that's there. Just another point with the mower is that you would have found that I left the bin on. I don't like leaving the clippings on LM. Um, they don't break down fast enough. And if you're in a very shady area, then that come, it becomes like a bit of a moldy mess uh, under that canopy of grass. So just don't leave clippings on LM. Um, or most tall grass types. I mean, maybe some of the Northern Hemisphere guys have got a different opinion, but for me, um, I'm okay with leaving grass clippings and I'm also not okay with it, but I think I'm more not okay with it just because that mess doesn't decompose nearly as fast as what a lot of people say that it does. Maybe if it's a very fine blade, then it does, but not Kikuyu, not Alem. I haven't had a proper opportunity to try it properly on Bermuda, but because Bermuda is so fine and it looks tidy, I wouldn't do it anyway. Just my opinion. We've already thrown in, I just wanted to show you, we've already thrown in 25 mils of the Oro Vital. There's a little bit left in here. It's not too much of a concern. Generally, I like to rinse these things out in between each put into the actual containers. But in this circumstance, it's not too much of a hassle. Uh, and then this was a brand new product. Make sure you shake these things before you, before you apply it, because if it's been sitting on a shelf for a long time or whatever, it might have, some of the product might have settled. So just make sure that it's mixed up nicely and then you can put it in. And we're gonna use 75 mils of this. So for the square meterage of the yard up there, 25 square meters, its full rate application is 75 mils. But we're applying it with five liters of water 
and five liters of water uh, will be sufficient to apply over 100 square meters of lawn. So it's about the amount of product that we're putting down over that square meterage, not necessarily the water that you're putting down for the square meterage. That's just to help get the spread going. So we're gonna put 75 mils of that in as well. And you would have seen, I don't know if I mentioned already, we've already filled up a bit of that container with some water and it's not just for a safety aspect with other chemicals it is um, but fill up a bit of the container then add your product and then top it up and the reason for that is this some of these products can really foam a lot so if you put in the product first then fill it up with water you're going to end up with that foam plume pouring through the top and you're messing it all over the place it's just a waste of product um, and of course for chemicals then that's unsafe so 75 mils of this can do that on the ground with a guesstimate oh that was 75 mils very good guess okay and now what I like to do is and this applies to most spray mixes might as well say it in this one because I do shorten the other videos a bit too much as you can see I'm just before the five liter mark so I'm gonna rinse this container and at the same time top up this container right let's get spraying Let's have a look here quickly. Right, so I'm quite happy with the way things are going so far. Now, what's nice about these sprays is that you can see, it's also why I like to use a little bit more water, you can clearly see where you've sprayed. So you're not going to go wrong. And with creeping type grasses, so Kukuyu, Bermuda, Alem, Buffalo, those types of guys, um, the super duper accuracy that you need, and you often see in other YouTube videos with the guys with the cool season grasses that grow more upright or the tough type grasses so growing upright they have to be a lot more accurate when they spray and they need to be more accurate when they spray because they don't have grasses from an area that got some spray growing into other areas that didn't get some spray so we get that bit of a an averaged out effect uh, they don't but yeah with general fertilizing like this it's perfectly fine on these types of grasses to take a little bit of a rough approach or a coarse approach to it it's fine that which didn't get any of the spray is going to have bled over into some areas that does get the spray i think that we're on the right path with this uh, i would say about 80 percent of it has roots that i went and felt it around quite nicely just now to show you a portion of it in the vid but i do believe that we're on the right track so in the next couple of weeks i think even in the next week we're going to have 98 99 percent properly rooted and then I'm going to start patching up um, just some of the areas, possibly with a bit of top dressing. And there are some tricks to top dressing LM. It's not that you can't do it. It's just that there's specific ways that you should be doing it. So I'll show you that in the next week or two. So next thing is to water. Now, I've put down quite a bit of water, so four times the amount for the application rate. But you still need to water the stuff in. However... I'm quite comfortable with how things are going at this point in time so i feel that we can um, let this sit on here for about half an hour to 45 minutes the nc32 is not going to burn it i once i'm not advising it because never with nitrogen do i advise leaving it alone you must water the stuff in but with the nc32 i have left this stuff on my lawn once for three hours before i even put water down and nothing happened it only got better it did not burn the grass at all so i'm confident that with me applying this little bit of extra water on the application here we are fine to leave it for a little while and let some of that take up um, through the leaf you know the foliar application so cool i think that's enough information for today so following things is obviously to start getting this level right and the rest of it's just going to be maintenance um, when the grass is settled then we'll worry about trimming edges and all that kind of stuff as well um, 
uh, at, at this point in time, I think the majority of the edges are what's not settled. Um, the edges on that end seem to be settled for some reason, but it's just how it goes. Not all lawns are the same. No one's lawns are the same. Read your lawn. So in this one's case, we jumped the gun, but it seems to be fine. The true test will be in a week or so when I do give you guys the update. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the little notification thing. And uh, yeah, please follow me on Instagram. I do a lot more chit chats on Instagram. And on the website, I'm going to start doing a blog. And I think the blog will be quite interesting because we can put down things that you forget to say in videos um, or uh, don't put into videos because it gets too long, etc. etc. So, anyway, cheers. Thank you.